For the first time, Tag Heuer has introduced a watch without a stopwatch function in its traditional Octavia line. Heuer first built the Octavia in 1933 as a stopwatch for motor vehicles and aircraft. This cockpit instrument was attached to the dashboard and was used to measure driving or flight times. The Super Octavia, which came later, combined a time display, stopwatch, and rotating bezel in a single instrument, with numerals that look like those on the Octavia Caliber 5. In 1962, Hoover introduced a wristwatch chronograph bearing the same name. From the beginning, it was available with various tracks on a rotating bezel, such as 12-hour division markings for a second time zone or 60-minute markers to measure intervals of up to one hour. The year 1969 saw the introduction of the Octavia Chronomatic powered by the Caliber 11, which was developed in part by Hoover. It was one of the first automatic chronograph movements in a contemporary tonneau case that featured a window date display at 6 o'clock. Altogether this produces an attractive, timeless retro look. The luminous numerals, striking hands, and anti-glare sapphire crystal, it is easy to read the time, and even the date is readily legible. The bidirection rotating bezel has a finely divided track, which along with the lack of luminous coating on the triangle marker requires some careful attention to read. But since this is not a professional instrument like a dive watch, this is acceptable for a secondary function. The bezel inlay is made of scratch-resistant ceramic, which isn't as rare as it once was, and is extremely advantageous as it resists signs of wear for an extended time. Another positive feature, the bezel ratchets in minute increments, is easy to use and does not slip unintentionally out of place. Also, the extra large crown that is taken from the cockpit instrument cannot be screwed down and further simplifies operation. The hack mechanism allows the time to be set precisely. The watch measures 42.75 mm across and is therefore the perfect size, isn't too thick and lies comfortably on the wrist, thanks also to the supple calf skin strap and flat pin buckle. The dark brown strap looks attractive with the blue dial and bezel. And here's another nice feature, the strap can be easily removed and replaced using a plastic release on the inner side. Other options include a blue or light brown leather strap as well as a metal bracelet and a range of textile straps. The strap, clasp and steel case are all nicely finished. A wheel and a propeller are engraved on the solid case back as a nod to the origins of the Octavia as an automotive and aviation model. The Octavia name is formed from the beginnings of these two words. A transparent case back would have been nice, of course, but the black enhanced engraving looks great and the movement tag Hoover calls Caliber 5 is based on a visually unspectacular Celida SW200, which is structurally almost identical to the ETA 2824. Yet, this robust and reliable automatic movement is even chronometer certified before it is cased. Originally tag Hoover had planned to install its own in-house, carbon composite isograph hairspring in this model. The fully wound watch gained 3.7 seconds per day with a maximum deviation between the various positions of 6.1 seconds. After 24 hours, the amplitude declined by a considerable 49 degrees, and the rate results fell off somewhat, to a gain of 4.6 seconds and a positional difference of 8.3 seconds quite good results that remain within the standards specified by the chronometer certification agency. The power reserve of 38 hours, however, reveals that the movement relies on older technology from the 1970s. Modern automatic movements or the improved calibers made by ETA for Swatch Group brands. Its reasonable price of $3,100 may make it easier to put this cockpit instrument on your wrist.